I know. Uncle? Uncle? What your aunt, boyfriend, son did to you? Location with Miss Skeeter Richards, or everybody know her as Summer Angel. So, Summer Angel, tell me what makes you so fabulous and so well known in the city of Philadelphia and the whole world? I guess it's more for the viewers to actually answer that because I don't know. Well, I did yeah, just put in a lot of work, you know, right? And um, things just happen, you reap what you sow, you know. I guess that's it, okay. You have so much behind your belt. You're a summer angel who is a DJ, a writer, an actor, editor, a movie, a Nollywood star. I guess you can say that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, um, how how you find the time to do so much? Finding the time. The thing is, Erica, you have, when you actually like something, you always gonna find the time to do things you like. Exactly. Just like if you see someone you love, you make time. No matter right. how it is, it's hard to get things done, you always find the time to do it. And I think when you're passionate and you actually love something, you're always going to find the time to actually make it happen. And um, it's not like movies and singing and all this stuff is not something that I say I want to do for like a living. If it comes and, it, and if something happened in that process, then let it happen. But I love the beauty of creating things. My so mind you, one would say you're a creator. I like to create things, yeah. Right. And also, you write. How do you find yourself moving to this genre, writing your own movies? Like most people can think of a movie, you can watch a movie or a play, but for somebody to sit there and imagine the characters, imagine <laughs> where to place um, them, it's, it's, it's fascinating. Actually, you know what? A sticky situation is one thing I actually said. And imagine, and I swear to God, Zim Production and I came together. Right. And it's the exact way that I vision. Episode wow. one, I would say, is the exact way that I vision. When I walked down the steps and Bobby came and said, no, you know, oh my God, <laughs> everything is just on point. And um, the beauty of everything is when you write and the actors and the actresses are doing exactly what your words say on the paper. Right. And it's just amazing to just sit and watch everyone, all the characters do their job. And they're talking the words that you write from a pen. It's one of the most beautiful things. That's why I said I like to create. Anything with creation, I like to do. Like, for instance, my girl, which I'm one of the star of. <laughs> right. How did you imagine my being in that character? And I fit so well in that character, Kim. I don't know how. Actually, I, I wrote it and you fall right into place with it. <laughs> you just, you fell actually right into place. I love it. And oh, sometimes this, you this. have sketchy locations. How do you maneuver um, when you when you do your movies? And for instance, like maybe um, My Girl was a low budget movie and Living is Hard and how you find these places to go and ask people how can they borrow this space. How, how yeah. did that, how did they? Actually, some people get excited when you ask. Really? They want to date, oh, my house is in that particular <laughs> stuff. And the thing is, the, the more my audience grow, everyone will even say, the next movie, make sure my house is in it. Make sure oh, we wow. like So it's like you grow and people want to help, you know? Sometimes I have to pay for location. Sometimes location gets so busy. Um, right. There is the amount of times Zim and I had to relocate because of the noise. And we're flimming and people, some angel, oh, some angel moving, big up. I'm like, oh my God. All right, you, have to do, you have to yeah. shoot or re -voice Sometimes we re -shoot, relocate or just wait till the audience kind of leave. Because eventually they look and they, they have things to do, so they leave. So, I mean... But I'm really fascinated by you and I'm proud of you to see one woman in Philadelphia here sit down, write her movies, write her songs, and perform them and deliver. You always and deliver, though. You, you're... It is not, trust me, <laughs> it is not hard. The, be, writing and going on stage is not hard. But, I don't know, my family. My family is like in the music business for so long. Right. Yeah. Arthur I mean, Will. Arthur Will. He's a big producer. <laughs> Being a man was raised in my home from my right. mom. I literally call him my brother. Um, Flipper Mafia. We was around Jigsy King and my dad and Tony Curtis. They all grew up in the same time. And wow. my dad actually took um, 
Jigzik, no, Tony Curtis to um, Ocho Rios. I actually like, I really like Jigzik King. Jigzik King, yeah. And Tony Curtis. Those are really good. Really good, yeah. yeah. Family friends. And um, the fact that you're even, you are also related to the late, great Greg Isaac. Greg Isaac. How did he come into play in your family? Greg Isaac is, um, he, his brother's married to my aunt, which wow. his brother passed, God rest his soul, and my yeah. aunt actually passed. Oh, it's no. so sad that I'm so sorry to hear that. The minute my aunt died, his brother died right behind her. It's just so crazy. But now the kids, right. my cousins, they're the ones that have the soul rights to all the songs. Greg That's Greg amazing. Songs. So right. now one of his sons is um, singing his songs, traveling, singing night. Yeah, yeah, I heard. Yeah, he sound yeah, just happens. like his dad. Yeah, and he looked just like his uncle. Right. And, I mean, the, the, you see, see, this is what I'm saying. Like when you when you put something out positive, it lives on. Right. And what I'm doing, being a creator, is is a positive look. You're telling a story. Living this hard is about me and my son. We know where to yeah. go. We got abused. We slept in the car. And so many people inbox me, Summer. Your lifeline seems just like mine. And how can I get this movie? How can I purchase this? I want to support you, you know? And I mean, I, I love it. I love it. <laughs> when I die today, God you're leaving forbid, a legacy. I'm leaving a legacy. Right. I'm leaving my music. I'm leaving everything that I'm doing in the, in the eyes of the world to see, you know? That's, I, I don't know. I love what I do. So who have you worked with in this industry? Ooh, that, that Erica White. White. <laughs> Thank <laughs> Number you. One, it's my um, pleasure working with you. I've worked uh, with one of the biggest Nollywood directors. Wow. Ikechu Enieka. He's oh, wow. With everybody in Nollywood you can possibly think about. Genevieve Naji. Yes, Tonto Deke. Tonto Deke. Mm -hmm. The list goes on of right. people. Um, I've, and I've worked on a Nollywood set uh, at a, a soap opera. Oh yeah, Secret family Soap. secrets. Oh. I had to branch in in Jersey and New York to do that. Um, that's with Maddish Production. I play a, a girl. Jeez, what was my name in that production? That one was Kim or Lisa or something. I'm not I sure. I think it was Lisa. I'm not quite hundred. It's been like four years ago. Yeah. No, that was way. way probably about like six. Seven <laughs> wow, time flies. Um, I've worked with uh, Jesus. So many people. I can't even. Diamonds and Pun from Liberian community. Daisy Dunbar, Liberian community. I've worked with um, what's up, LIB on the movie. You worked with Genevieve too. I've worked with uh, no Tonta Deke. Tonta I, Deke. I played in a movie yes. with her called Tears of My yeah. Joy. I played her best friend. She's a beautiful girl. She's crazy though, but a and, beautiful and, and, girl. And, and Bobby Joe Valentine. Bobby Valentino. From, somewhere in Baltimore. One of my favorite somewhere in Baltimore. favorite movies. Oh my god, I've done. that movie is good. I, 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 every time I watch the movie, I swear to God, I'm like, Dad, I should have done that better. I hate mm -hmm. to watch stuff that I'm in. I don't see no fault with that movie. No, no, no. I see a lot of faults in me that <laughs> oh. I could have done better. But That's like the perfectionist said, in you. That, but you yourself. grow. You, right. you do things and you, you actually grow and you learn. And right. I like to see myself so I can correct myself, you know? And um, also, Jesus, people I've worked with in movies, you're saying, right? In movies, in the music industry, in who you who you opening act for for like for music? Uh, you you've been there with me. And Meek Mills when he was coming up, right? For Meek Mills, um, everybody you can think. Beanie Man, uh, Chaka Khan, Chaka Khan, Chaka Khan. Um, uh, what's the singer R and B singer name? She's a gospel singer. Yolanda Adams. Yolanda Adams. Okay. Um, MC Light. Jesus, the list goes on of people. Um, Jesus. Yeah, have you ever opened up for? Lady Saw? Vice Hotel. Lady Saw. <laughs> uh -huh. That was the same night, too. They were really? My cousin Flipper Mafia did a show here, and I opened up for Vice Hotel and Lady Saw. That's when he first did the big song. Um, well, tell us about the 24 box shots. When, I think it would, you, you, you did it for your birthday? 24 box shot. I did the song, and it was a success in Philadelphia. And 24 box shot was one of my second songs, because Summerside Juice was the first that they got immune to. Um, <laughs> 24 Box Shot, it was played at um, Joe Dog um, recording station, um, radio station. Right. And when they heard that song, the entire Philadelphia or the tri state area. Here we go. In. Everybody <laughs> wanted to know when I got to play the song again. The song kept playing about 10, 15 times. Joe Dog said, Summer. Send me an album. I that's the first time. Okay, I, before I met you, that's the first song I've heard of you on the radio. Which one? Twenty four. Twenty four box shots. Box shots. Somebody yeah. said, "Here we go in no, like, What is she song, talking about? You are the doom. When you see me, I'm not a cover. Roll me over. Come here, go get to It was. It was nice. It was yeah. fun. It was like so raw. Mm -hmm. And um, the fact that um, someone called you. 
uh, for the first lady of dancehall. So what makes you a dancehall star instead of a Sanjay or a singer? Philly's first lady dance hall came about with a coca tea show. It was mm -hmm. coca tea and a whole bunch of artists in um in New Jersey, and it was a selector called Selector Bam Bam. They right. already crowned me at the Caribbean Festival with an award right. for that. But um, at the Camden at the the waterfront, Catman Do it was called, but that mm -hmm. was called something else. I forgot. Mm -hmm. But um, he named me Philadelphia's first lady dance hall based on the fact that I was the only person actually doing music. Traveling, I went to New York. I was in Jersey, Washington, right. Miami. I was in Delaware. You have a great audience up. in Delaware. Yeah, Love you in I Delaware. I sold that audience in <laughs> Delaware at um, I Made Dance Kitty. That's where all of us was. Right. Um, and he named me that, and everyone ran with it. Everyone ran with it. But to make a long story short about the Joe Dog situation, because I have to big him up and thank him right. because he actually played my album. My album was on rotation in Philadelphia, twenty four hours. Wow. That was my entire album. I thought. It was like 24 songs, and all you heard was... A Slice of Heaven? A That's Slice of Heaven mm -hmm. is called, and I really thank him for that, because then I really got popular into the homes of Philadelphia when he did that. And you also do some duets from the album, like with Major Mackerel, Major Mackerel, I got Trey, a, songs. Trey Songs, I got a song, Gina Thompson from Black Gina, Records, yes. I got Shano, El Fico, wow. um, or Lukey D. What, what, uh, what, don't forget the, the gospel singer. What was his name? The gospel singer who was oh Peter Brown. Peter Brown. No, but Peter Brown and I, you know, one of my songs, "Living His Heart," is on his album. Oh, okay. "Living His Heart" <laughs> is not on my album. Oh, it's okay. It's on Peter Brown. I, I don't know why they did it that way, but right, it happens. Yeah, but um, yeah, pretty much a whole bunch of artists I had. But what about the the um the controversy between you and Ninja Man? Because if I don't ask you this, I don't want nobody to blame me for it. Ninja Man and you were like brothers and sisters, and what happened when, when you... No, ni no me, me, Ninja Man and I was not. <laughs> well, well, by God, yes. We we're all brothers and sisters by God, but... Um, so he called me up on the stage, and I actually wasn't booked for the show, and I didn't know what to do, so I was like, okay, think, think, think. There's so many people looking at you, <laughs> sing something. So I said, so you want some sour sap juice? Come make you a little sour sap juice. Good juice that that me produce. Me not lie, put it to use. I'm gonna sit in my stand up in the mic and I'm gonna look for something and I make it come, you know, come right. back. Because yeah, it's a come clash that's, that's how we I don't clash. I just do my music and I sing and deliver. That's it. So he come and, and I watch me and I said, hmm, I wish I'd try to sing it. And, and now I get it. Maybe because he doesn't know what the song represents. Right. He's not saying, you want some juice to drink the kitty. Yeah, but he's, he's a man again, so he's gonna but make he, but something. But then you, you out know, of when it. you're illiterate and ignorant, you just jump. You know, and a lot of Jamaican people, honest to God, they're very ignorant. Um, and he said, well, I'm going to steal the top of so much stuff, just look at the nastiness. And I'm like, no. And then you're he, trying to correct then he yourself. The mic, yeah. Mm -hmm. Then he grabbed the mic away from me, and I'm like, wow, this guy, he's on some So Philip people was upset. <laughs> the man, them back, they said, I can't have this weird just so. But it happens. Right. And, and the thing is, it's a show. It makes it better for you. But when Ninja Man got off the stage, mm -hmm. he said, some of you know, say, I, I, I show a thing. We just have to do show. That's how we get our buzz. Making a big scene or whatever. But, and I said, okay. Right. You, he already had his buzz. You already have your buzz. So you just wanted to be more controversial. Yeah, his buzz was like a buzz. Yeah. <laughs> and you wanted you to buzz more. Yeah. But um, to be honest with you, I think you're doing wonderful. And I... um. I'm very proud of you. Your music has touched the whole world. People in Japan, how about when, when they wanted to take you to Japan? Can you? Can you can yeah, that was a while back, Jesus. That was in my right. 20s then. I remember. And I was supposed to go on a tour with um, Hollywood Anderson. And I hate, I hate the fact that it never happened. Zim Production, you remember? <laughs> yes, oh my God. Zim was booked for the show too. We all right. booked, took off from work, everything. Got a couple tattoos, which I regret. And it never happened. Oh. Whatever, what, ha what happened? Because I remember saying scared. that you were to go. Wow. Well, and you were trying to see where you're going to do with the twins when they were smaller. Yeah, yeah. But you know, we're still, we're here. Uh, you, when one road is turned, that don't mean you're not going to still go on your path, right? You're right. still going on a steady, firm path. And, and now, we want to talk about something more reverent. Sticky situation, and I'm um, I'm hearing buzz that it's gonna be a premiere soon. Can you add live on that? Sticky situation, yeah. Mm. <laughs> we um, Jesus, it's so sad. We were gonna do a premiere at the Upper Derby right. Movie Grill, and 
we held on to it because we saw the COVID coming and we we're like, geez, this is getting kind of tight. But it was the movie theater. Right. We're like, we're going to still have the show regardless of COVID because it didn't hit yet. In March, early March and, you know, February, it wasn't that bad. Right. But um, a couple of the cast kept calling me saying, Summer, you got to cancel the show because COVID, this and that. I said, I can't cancel it because I don't right. want to lose my money. I paid enough. I did promotion. I'm ready. Right. If so they was cancel your audience. It, everyone was ready. Everybody was mm -hmm. ready. And the actors. <laughs> the, the township, I said, until the township cancel the show, I'm not doing a damn thing about it. Right. Who comes, comes. Who doesn't make it, right. they'll see it online. The township canceled the show, the weekend <laughs> of the show. And I said, you know what? What a relief. Because I was kind of nervous. A lot of my friends buy T-shirts and send their money saying, I can't make it because COVID, I'm scared. Right. But they did put their two cents in. Anyway, so we canceled the show, and we've been waiting pretty much too long. Yeah, it's like almost five Am I months. Correct? Yeah, we've been waiting for for months to put this out, and I want the, it's not for to do a premieres per se, but it's for the people that's in the pro pro project to see themselves on a big screen. Like me, and, it, and, it, and it's a disappointment because I'm highly disappointed because I wanted to show them how good they did from all the work and hours they put in. Right. It was not even for me to do it at the theater. It was for them to see the star oh, they are. Because so everyone has that in them. So now we, um, I just recently said, I'm just going to give up. I'm going to take my money back from the theater right. and take it into someone else's venue. venue. Uh -huh. So I called my, uh, my, my, my guy, and he has many buildings. Mm -hmm. And he said, you know what? I have a building that you might love. It was a church. Right now the lady is doing events there. Give her a call. Mm. I call her Inez from Chester, and she actually said she'll work with me. I went and look at the spot. Oh, wow. It's a Round huge place. Woo! Sticky situation. Like Chum said, it's huge. When so can you expect this? I don't mean to cut you off. I'm going to do it on the 29th of this month. Of this month. It's you hear Sunday. that, people? Sticky situation premiere on the 29th of November. And At 5 p.m. sharp. It's going to be a red carpet event. And you wear your mask, and we're going to have food and beverages, and we're going to try to make the seats as far away as North Korea and China as That's possible. Right. <laughs> yes, people, everybody's afraid of COVID-19. It is going to be the six feet distant. Um, what I'm saying is, the people that comes out, they stay in a group. Right. And we're going to check temperatures at the door. And um, if you have a fever or if you don't feel good, I will say, please stay home. Cannot come in. Um, we're trying to have fun. I've seen people go out to parties and clubs. So I see the world Tell them not, not to open. be a hypocrite, really. Exactly. So don't be an hypocrite. Because I've had close people, like real people that's in the movie that's playing lead roles that call me saying, Summer, you know that's what? That's horrible. You know, I'm not going to show up. I mean, I've seen pictures of you out doing your thing. Oh, why not come out and support something you've been in? Right. You know, and Sticky Situation did a, a very good job online. It did a beautiful job. You got millions of millions views. of views, huge views. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, and and it did a fabulous job. The storyline is so touching. It's exactly. so it's real. I feel it. Like, right. It, and I would advise people to come out and see it because, honest to God, this is more. Part number one was the robbery. When Angel got robbed and this, that, that. Number two was the apology. When I when right. someone had to apologize for what they did to me. And number three is called What Goes Around Comes goes Around. around obviously. And you got to put your mind together. If you saw part one and two, you should know what goes around comes around is. This is going to be a magnificent More movie. like the revenge, it's, but we're not going to say something. Yeah, right. we're not, we're not we're in not Hollywood. Giving it That's we're not right. in Hollywood. But we try to make everything the best put together as we can. You know what I mean? And uh, we got Don Don. We yes. got um, Outlaw, Wanda, we got uh, Zan Cartel, the big, the big star in Philly. <laughs> um, we got uh, Erica White, we yes, got uh, Wet you. Kitty, um, we got, uh, the list goes Vandella, on. We, we have, got Vendella, we have Vendella um Daisy Dunbar, um, don't forget. Highway, uh, Jesus, there's so many people, Twin White. Don't forget. Bobby now. Mom, Bobby, 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 Bobby <laughs> V. You don't even, once you say Sticky Situation, no Bobby V's name is all over. <laughs> Bobby's name is all over Sticky Situation. But, um, and I work with the wonderful, wonderful camera. Please. Zim Production. Zim Production Zim to e. the world. Zim Production. <laughs> I mean, in the beginning, we argue, we fight. Oh, we argue, we fight. Your brothers and sisters. You would think we're, do, like, are they married or what is going on? Did they break up and they get back together? What is it? But Zim and I, we're like brothers and sisters, and I love working. I would never give Zim up for nothing. He doesn't. I'm sure, he won't job. give you up either. Yeah, I've heard whispers. 
Oh, <laughs> and then you come to start controversy. Yeah, but um, but what can you leave now? Like, what kind of um, what what can you leave for the younger people? Like, how the positive input you can leave with younger artists or a younger singer trying to come out or or, or an actor, an art, an, an artist. What can you? Leave as advice for them. As advice, uh, the advice I would like for myself, <laughs> I would have to say I'll give it to someone. Please be careful when you sign a contract. You can give your life away because mm. that's exactly what happened to me with music. Right. I signed to Wildfire Records and they did, they tried, but he didn't have, I don't think he had the power to put me in the direction where I needed to be. Right. But they tried and I give them credit. I cannot right. talk bad about them, but you can't sign a contract for management, soul management. And you can't sign copyright. a recording co contract, copyright. It's like I wanted music so bad that I just signed my life away. And up until now, I'm fighting. And that's the reason why a lot of people probably haven't seen more on the music side. Right. So I started to write. And when I started to write, I say, I'm going to put the music aside. And I'm right. going to write. Because writing can tell you so much. You'll understand but me. I just have to, I don't mean to cut you. How can you, this is where I come in. How can you, um go to Nollywood and win three Nollywood awards and have the Africans then buzzing, wondering, who is this lady? Come and take in my <laughs> trunk. How can you? It's not, it's not hard to say, how can you? I mean, <laughs> how, how could it happen? You work with good people. and You work with people that have the passion. And with the passion, they'll push themselves and they'll push the project. I've worked with Smooth Fusion Flames from um, somewhere in Baltimore. They did a fabulous job. But not that. You, Summer Angel, you went over to an African audience and take over It was very over easy. Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> you can mistake me To the word. Me yeah, it is her. Yeah, I was actually an African love child. Like, Liberian Star View promoted me well. The right. African community. When I first got online. Well, what's not to love? They communed me. They, 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 they promoted me very well. And I appreciate the Africans, especially my good friend that uh, he's incarcerated now because he was on the news. His son died from e taking a pill or something. Oh my God. Um, that's Africano I TV. I couldn't believe when I saw Africano it. I saw it TV. on Facebook. I hate when I get my news yeah. from he's people that man. I know. I know him he made too. Mistake, yeah. And it was hurtful. It was hurtful. Yeah, Africano TV. Yeah, we used to go there a lot in Woodland Avenue. No, he, he was based in New Jersey, but New he was Jersey, always but, here. Okay. Yeah, but he kind of put me on the side of the Africans and he actually gave me my first award the, the, my first actress award and it well deserved yeah and um I, then i went to um nollywood nafca awards that's like the hollywood oscars uh, we was in washington we kicked yes. ass and we got something <laughs> that and i just the list goes on i keep i went back to new york got something there i collect everything i picked up everything and the thing is i more accomplished more because i actually am a self-made person i, I no one see actually it. give me anything Cause when it's amazing when I went to to do living is hard the movie, they wanted I went to um a buddy of mine's uh, that own um the the movie imported bride oh yeah that was it, the, yeah wow and they said they wanted probably seven or eight thousand to do living is hard and I said damn I just got laid off from my job I was working right at Bryn Mawr in the dietary department because I got my culinary arts degree. But then well, what I got laid off. With it? Yeah, nothing. <laughs> nothing. So, I, <laughs> so I um I went and I actually um got my own cameras. Right. I got my cast. I did my thing. I shot it, edited it because I said, ain't nobody gonna tell me they can not do anything you can do. I can do it, and I'm gonna do it a hundred times better than you because I'm gonna try to push myself and critique myself and be the best person I can be. And I did living is hard. It got picked up by MoneyGram. Living is Hard was a, a splendid movie because oh, I yeah. printed it. I want my rent. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I can't pay to that. So just can't. I can't. Listen, let me look a boy for going to take care of. Let me just go in, please. Let me yes, you have him to take care of, but me come to collect my rent. That is one of the things where you need to take care of. There's a roof over your head, and you live under that yeah. roof you're supposed so to be. The rent. Look from when the bathroom, and you can have something there. And me call you for fix it. Look from when. We don't even have light in the bathroom. But tell me something. Look how you pretty and fancy of new falls here, jacket, coat. Then oh, you know could that. I use piece of that the money by it stop leak for the bathroom around there. I hear. In life I would not make life so hard. I tell you, come back the 50. Come the 50 for you get the rent.
I think you got robbed once or twice. Was it two times? Two times, right? Tell us about actually three times. Three times. Yeah. Wow. They um they broke into my house, my home when I was at home, and they took all my movie cameras. Oh wow. And they dig through my ceilings and my bedroom, everything. They took everything they could take, computers and cameras and games and jewelry. They took it all. I had bought this nice, huge camera from the movie, uh, like a movie company. I and remember that camera. They took that, that too. They took wow. that camera, all my editing pro tools, and and I thought it was over. And they came back the second week. It was like wow. they come on Tuesdays when I'm how, how how does that make you feel though when somebody comes to your home and actually takes something? Is it does it um does do you feel afraid to go in? At night, or do you stay feeling, there, or you it, go somewhere after a while to come back home? I think the feeling I felt was more invaded. Of course. Invasion. Right. Yeah, it is I, an invasion. Yeah, so they came in my home, and I was like, I didn't want to be there anymore. Oh. You know, like you're home, and you don't know when somebody's going to come. Are they coming back? Were they waiting to see me home? You don't know. You right. Know? So it's more invade, 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 invaded. And, um, I mean, I and, a, and you people don't know you're a very private person. Very private. Very, very yeah. private. Because a lot of people talk <laughs> things that they don't know until they right. actually know me. So if you want to know me, just ask me. I'm right. an open book, but I'm also very private. She's very, <laughs> very private. Um, so it happens to you three times. And as, 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 as any robbery happened recently? Recently, yes. Um, wow. The, the robber climbed up my patio while my daughter was in her room Jesus. and stole my son's Game Boy. Pretty much, it, I mean... That's the only thing they took, but she was home. That and was really triggered me. Now I have to surveillance everything. And this was years before. Yeah, yeah. And now after, my, sorry. My little girl was home now, and it just kills me because she was by herself. And it, it really, it, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts. Because now we're in the house, we got to lock the house down. We right. go outside, we got to lock it down. We can't open and you're, the door. And you're dealing space. with COVID-19, and you're right. in lockdown. You have to be double lockdown. Right. People, stop it. Whoever is doing it, you're out there. And if you see but this it's video... it's all right. It's all right. We got... We're all right. <laughs> the place is... Cam cameras everywhere. We got them on camera anyway. But the, the right. person's trying to figure out who did it. The person never got arrested yet. So that's why it's kind of hard because of the prints. Right. They, they were pretty young. But uh, by God, be the grace, we're good. We're good. We're not suffering. Whatever they take, I hope they find... Um, Loving the stuff they take because for <laughs> oh you to God. climb through someone, but it's still not in. theirs, you know. Yeah. It's not right. Right. It's the it's, like you said. It's not the fact that they took something from your home. It's like they took a part of you. But it's like, sad because people know if you ask me for something, even if you're on the street, I will give it to you. Right. If you can. That's just how, how I am. If you knock my door, summer, you know I need a Game Boy. It's yours because my right. son don't even use it, but it's new. Right. They have the things that they don't even use. It's an ask, and I give it to I you. I can only you imagine. Feel. Can only imagine the feeling. You know me better, right? And you're very strong. You know, I've never seen you cry a tear unless you, when you want to cry at night by yourself. You, I want to go home and cry. I just want to go home and cry. <laughs> <laughs> I know her because I'm her friend. I'm giving it away. <laughs> so, right. how many movies are you in? How can many you, movies? Can are you me? recall so, in one breath? The ones that's I, I, I would name all the movies that I'm, I'm in. Then I'll probably say I'm. About seven or eight or nine of them is out. Wow. All right, let me go down the list of movies, okay, if I can remember. Right. Why aren't you on Netflix, though? Have you ever considered Netflix? I've considered Netflix. Netflix is, if people think it's so easy. You send your movie into Netflix, it's not that easy. Wow. Netflix is not that easy. You need connection. And uh, we got some type of connection now with Netflix. Wow. Uh, Bobby Valentino said he was someone there, but we got to talk. We still got to do paperwork. Right. Um. All right, starting from the ground up. Living is Hard, number one. My Girl, My number girl. two. Those movies, mm -hmm. I didn't know nothing about Fleming, so when you watch it, please forgive me. Um, Stop Living is Hard, My Girl. Yourself. No, you well I'm just saying. What you had. It, no, it, it's, good, it's a good story. Like one it. camera. All right. But listen, <laughs> Living is Hard got millions of views. Hello. My Girl got millions. No, I'm lying. 400,000 views, actually. And I deleted it. I just re uploaded one because of right. copyrights. All right. Living is Hard, My Girl. Um, Somewhere, Somewhere in Baltimore, Ignorance, which I think people should go out and watch. No, I'm also in Ignorance. You're in Ignorance, right? You yeah. play the principal? Yeah, um, administrator. The administrator, I'm sorry. No, that's okay because it's college, you know. You don't <laughs> say, anyway, it's not about me. 
All right, so um, <laughs> ignorance. Um, we got somewhere involved. Um, in God I trust. Um, the one with the blessed curse. The blessed curse. Te Tears of my joy. Yes. Um, that was a good movie too. Jesus, come on. Um, she devil. Uh, it's so much. Family. Family secrets. So. It's I a lot. It's a, okay, I okay. I can't. Let's not tire your brain. Yeah, I can't remember. She I'm getting did too old right now. Anyway. Right. I'm, <laughs> I think I have dementia. <laughs> no, no, you're not even close to that. Yeah. But um, as far as the music is concerned, the audience waits for you. They ask about you. I know one day you're gonna go back to it. It's, I, you can't I help it. That's your first love. Actually, I, I just promised Fico we're gonna do the video for um. Ooh. Um, and Fico and Summer Angel. Yeah, my mom Fico, is my dying. Mom. She's dying for us to do I'm it. I'm dying so too. We're going to do the video for that. The Zim Production is going to be the one doing it. You know, Zim right, Production, yeah, his hands is on John the from Zim Production. Please have your protein ready for Summer Angel. Yeah. Is there any movies that you have already written and you never um, bother to produce them or even start the production um, yet? Actually, I'm writing now. I've, I've got a couple of movies that I have that... I look it over and I'm like, oh, I got a good idea, but then I'm like, no. Nah. I wrote a couple of stuff. And um, actually, I'm writing something now that I want to do at the Poconos. I called them the other day and told them, so I'm actually writing a movie now. Something dramatic and mm, Something summer angel. Something, <laughs> no, something out of the norm of what we shoot. Really? So it's, it's going to be fun, though. It's going to be fun. But I must say this before we go. I don't think you realize exactly who you are you're a legend mm. somebody don't wait until somebody died to give them flowers i'm going to tell you right here on camera as a friend that you are a legend for what you have done your music your acting your writing your editing everything i've seen you not staying up for three days not sleeping just to make sure something is edited right and um the fact that you have so much passion and love in you you're a very loving person. Most people don't know that about you. No, they don't. You're high maintenance. Yes, yes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so you need that, that's your outlet. Your that's your ultra ego. She just high maintenance kitty, and why not? <laughs> right. <laughs> so please, people, go out there and support Summer Angel. Summer Angel, would you like to leave us with anything before we go, or remind them about the situation, something that they can remember? You um, by? what I would say is. Whatever in life that you want to do, I think you should just push yourself and always push yourself, regardless of what people think of you or how people look at you or how, or how you even look at yourself. Right. You got to keep pushing yourself because mm. you see people with no legs running in the marathon. Yes. You know what I mean? You see people with no eyes or reading. They believe that they can do something. And once you believe in yourself, all things are possible. And that's all I can say. Just believe. And, I, and I, we were close from here. This is Erica White. From overall settings and our guest today is summer angel and people was. go out was summer angel people go out there and whatever copy of her music you can find buy them or movies or just promote them like and share on our YouTube channel it's called summer angel Jamaican. right Summer angel Jamaican and um, also please be there at the premiere I don't want to hear it, people about COVID nineteen because y'all ain't y'all ain't being careful. Peace, Erica White from Overall Settings. Have no fears. <laughs> <laughs> <Yes. laughs> Bye. Hey Flipper, Auto Wheel, Beanie Man, Lady Star, when you come here, home to some Philadelphia dirty. Hey, them not get me cross and miserable enough. Me yow, yow, I where they meet me for. Me I ask them a question enough. I show me have money in my pocket and me a big hustler. One to them, I show them the bands and a pretty pretty them.